When a man disappeared from his northern Wake County home, the sheriff's office stepped in to help. And leading the search team, K9 Rosie, CBS 17's Maggie Newland live at the Wake County Sheriff's Office where she spoke to Rosie and her handler, Maggie. Angela, when a lot of us think about a police or a sheriff's canine, we may think about an apprehension dog, one that chases down suspects and we really don't want following us. But if you or a family member is ever lost, Rosie's friendly face is exactly what you want to see. Her name is Rosie, and she has a nose for finding all kinds of things. She can search with the best of them. She can find narcotics with the best of them and articles, you know, with the best of them. Perhaps most importantly, she can track down missing people, like she did over the weekend when the Wake County Sheriff's Office received a call from a worried family. They were concerned. They were, they were definitely concerned. A grown gentleman who was, uh, had some cognitive impairments um, had uh, ran away from the house. It was, uh, the weather was about 29 degrees that night. The call came as part of the check on welfare service. They can call our non-emergency number and we'll send the a deputy right away. With freezing temperatures and lots of woods near Briarwood Place and Raven Ridge Road, deputies brought in Rosie. She was able to pick up uh, the scent very quickly. Within about 20 minutes, Deputy Farrell Reynolds says Rosie led him to the missing man in a six-foot ravine in a wooded area. I was relieved. I was relieved. So, you know, it was, it was a great thing that she obviously did, and it was a team effort on everybody's part. And for this team, an especially big moment. Deputy Reynolds and Rosie only finished training together in December. One of her uh, first finds, um, and so I was ecstatic. No doubt the man's family felt even more relieved. Oh, they were definitely happy that we found him and we brought him back to him. As for Rosie, her reward is simple. A girl. Praise a toy and a chance to do it all again when someone else needs help. <laughs> And after a hard day at work, Rosie goes home with Deputy Reynolds. He says she is both a work partner and part of the family. We're live at the Wake County Sheriff's Office. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. I hope she got some extra treats yes. as well. Good job, Rosie.